Hi everyone, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. Today our topic is Picklist Administration. We'll start this session with a quick introduction to Picklist, types of it, and I will show you how to create a single select Picklist and multi select Picklist. Then we'll have a look at how to manage Picklist values and how to set the default values. Let's move on to the introduction. As we all know, Picklist is a field type which allows the user to select a single value or multiple values based on the type of Picklist. If it is a single select Picklist, the user will be able to select a single value. If it is a multi select Picklist, the user will be able to select more values from the predefined options, from the predefined values. As the values are predefined, it is ensuring, Picklist helps to ensure data consistency and accuracy in Salesforce. Instead of the user entering the value manually, here the user will be able to choose a value from the predefined values so that it is making the data entry more efficient and user friendly by providing the list of options to choose from. Coming to types of picklists, we have standard picklists. Standard picklists are the ones that are included in the org before any customization, before any modification. Some examples are lead source, opportunity stage, lead status, those are few standard picklists. These standard picklists we cannot end, we cannot remove from the org. Instead, we can make some modifications or customizations based on our business need, based on the business requirement. Those are standard picklists which are already there in the org. Next, custom picklists. Custom picklists are the ones which we create, which the user is gonna create. In the custom picklist, we have single select picklist and multi select picklist. Single select picklist, uh, the user will be able to select a single value. Multi select picklist, uh, the user will be able to select multiple values. Let's see how to create those picklists first. Here I'm in a staff object creating a new field, new picklist field. picklist I want to enter some courses we have two options here use global picklist value set and enter the values this option I will tell you later for now I am entering the values here we can specify the properties in the picklist display values alphabetically use first value as default value if we check this checkbox the default value will be the first value python this one is restrict picklist to the values defined in the value set if we check this checkbox it will be a restricted picklist that means the user will be able to select a value from the predefined options the user cannot enter any other value which is not there in the list that is restricted picklist if we uncheck this checkbox then it will be a unrestricted picklist at that time the user can enter any other value which is not there in the list that is unrestricted picklist by default uh, this checkbox is checked and we have other options required if we check this checkbox whenever we save this record a value should be there the value is required in that field that is uh, required we are keeping all these settings as it is saving in the staff layout so we have created courses pick list in the staff object we'll see in the staff object we got the courses pick list here right now we haven't uh, provided any default value that's why it's showing none now let's create a multi select pick list here in the student object I want to have a multi select pick list to enter the extracurricular activities of the students extracurricular means a student can choose more values right so that i want to keep all those values in the multi select pick list extracurricular activities enter the values here i am taking some activities saving in the st student layout 
So we have created a multi select pick list in the student object. Here in the student object, we got the multi select pick list. The user can choose more values. Multi select pick list allows the selection of single value also. But whenever the requirement is to select a single value, it's always recommended to go with the single select pick list because multi select pick list will have other considerations like the total value limit is less for multi select pick list compared to single select pick list. In reporting also, the grouping is different for multi select pick list. While creating formulas, only specific functions can reference multi select pick list. Having these considerations, it's always better to go with the single select pick list if the requirement is satisfied with that. So we have seen how to create a single select pick list and multi select pick list. Coming to the properties of pick list, while creating the pick list field, we got to know what are the properties we could specify. If we make a pick list as restricted, the user can select a value from the predefined values. User cannot enter any other value. If we uncheck that checkbox, then it will be an unrestricted pick list. Then the user can enter any other value which is not there in the predefined values also. And that means unrestricted pick list is a free form pick list. When it comes to required, if you make a field as required, Every time you save a record, a value should be there in that particular field. Then dependent or controlling. A custom pick list can be a dependent field or it can be a controlling field. But let's save this point for later discussion. When we talk about uh, the concept of field dependency, we'll get to know what is a dependent field, what is a controlling field. Now let's move on to the next point, how to manage the pick list values. Here in the staff object, we have created a pick list field called courses, right? And these are the values we are having. These are all active values right now. If you don't want any of these values, you can just deactivate that so that that value comes under the inactivate value section. Now this value is the inactivate value. Active values are the values that appear as an option in the pick list field when we are creating a record. Inactive values, they don't appear as an option, but they are not removed from the org. Just they are not showing up in the pick list values. We can delete the values if we are not using any of these values, we can delete them. But if some existed records have those values, instead of deleting the value, we should deactivate it so that the existing records are not going to affect because of these changes. We can add more values, we can reorder them, we can replace them. When you are replacing an existing value, you can replace that with a new value option 1 with an existed value option 2 or with a blank value when you are replacing it with a new value first you need to create that in new value then replace with that let's see how to set the default value now when we are creating the pick list field we have the option to choose use the first value as default value this option is there but if you want to set the default value based on certain conditions and the values from other fields we could do that using formulas. Here go to the formula editor. Right now in the staff object for the courses pick list we don't have any default value. It is none but I want to set the default value as a Salesforce for this particular month. I want Salesforce should be the default value for the third month otherwise Java. I am checking the syntax save it so let's see how it is showing in the user interface now if you go to the courses pick list the default value has come as salesforce right keeping more often value as default value can speed up the data entry right this is how we can manage the pick list values. Good pick list value management is important as it saves the user time and data consistency in the org. This brings us to the end of this video. In the next session, I want to discuss about a global pick list or pick list value sets. So keep learning. Please do subscribe to Salesforce Techbook. Thank you so much.